The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. I can visualize Mitchell Tenpenny making the new selfie pose, the scrunch face, while he's singing that song. Oh my goodness. That history. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so Gen Z's new favorite selfie pose is called the scrunch face. Uh, remember, it used to be the duck face for a long time. Yeah. Where you make lips like a duck. And then, the, yes. you know, so that's now old news. That's passe. Uh, now, to pull off a scrunch face, you have to scrunch your nose and squint your eyes and flash a grin. And uh, it's supposed to help you look cute. Uh, if you do it wrong, it'll look like you ate too much cheese or something. Uh, it's also the kind of face that you'd make if you bit into a lemon. So it's not exactly a new facial expression, but people have been doing it on social media now. It's the new thing, the scrunch face face i don't know gen z i don't know i don't do selfies anymore i used to and i used to do that duck the duck lip duck duck face thing and then everybody goes and they say oh tracy your lips are so pretty 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 pretty." i'm like ew i don't think i want this attention anymore no 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 i don't know i just can't get into it anymore what about you no no i try not to do that it's uh, I'm not. I'm not the selfie king or anything. Me neither. Yeah. No. All right. Good deal. That's uh, Connor Smith and Creek will rise on 101.7. Kate Sam. Good morning to you. Yeah. The National Traffic Safety Board uh, released a memo the other day saying that they need people to stop blinging out their drivers, uh, their steering wheel in their car. That's nuts. Yeah, I mean, there people have been putting rhinestones and other decorative decals and other things on the center of their steering wheel. You know, like where the the, the car brand right. is usually at, and they say you've got to stop doing that because if you are in an accident and your airbag deploys, all those little rhinestones and bling turn into shrapnel. Oh my gosh! A lady lost her eye that's, here the other day. That's scary. She was in an accident. She had rhinestones on her, and one hit her right in the face. And uh, yeah, just awful. So, so don't do that. So and uh, no more fuzzy dice either. No more fuzzy dice. And just public, because it looks bad. There you go. And public service announcement: Don't bling and bleed. Chase Beckham here on one hundred one point seven KCM Rodeo Radio Time here on this Monday, November the sixth, as we look at our five random facts of the day we start at number five johnny depp and i think most people would know this story actually got divorced from his first first wife Lori ann allison in 1985 which is one year before his second wife amber heard was born yeah not a great thing to think about <laughs> number four only three countries use purple on their flags but it's only featured in one of them the island of dominica not to be confused with the dominican republic nearby Dominica's flag has a Cicero, sorry if I said that wrong, parrot, which is actually purple and green. The flags of Nicaragua and El Salvador also have purple, but is only part of rainbows, so not an actual prominent featured color. Number three, before DJ Salinger became a famous author and then a recluse, he worked as a cruise director. That's something I did not know. Number two, if you yelled at a cup of coffee for eight straight years, you'd produce enough energy to heat it. I don't know anybody that's going to spend eight years yelling at a cup of coffee. I don't know why you would. I don't know how somebody figured this one out. Sure. <laughs> and our final random fact of the day for all you sports fans. Last week, relief pitcher Will Smith became the first player in MLB history to win three straight World Series rings with three different teams. He won it in 2021 with the Braves, last year with the Astros, and now with the Texas Rangers. Smith is a free agent, so in other words, whoever gets him this offseason, I think will automatically become the favorite to win the World Series in 2024. Martina McBride here on 101.7 K Sam Rodeo Radio Tuesday as we continue on with your 90s at noon. But folks, I have to tell you about this first. I saw this. I couldn't believe it. I looked it up a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready, folks. Apparently, basically, what Heinz is doing, they're coming out with a new flavor, right? It, it, it's ketchup. Don't worry. It's still ketchup. It's just a new flavor of ketchup. Pickle ketchup. I, I'm not making this up. Apparently, it's exactly what it sounds like. A condiment that combines the tangy and savory fla flavor of pickles with Heinz ketchup. Someone who tried it said it's like they bottled up a flavor of McDonald's pickles and ketchup in the same thing. It, quote, isn't super dilly and takes the pairing of ketchup and french fries to a whole nother level. The best part, they say, is that it's not a limited time release. 
that you will have your trouble getting hands on. It's going to start showing up on sales nationwide early next year. So we have a little bit of time to mentally prepare for this. But, it, like I said, not a limited uh, limited time item. Going to be here to stay. And according to Heinz, 73% of Americans like pickles. And if you're one of them, I want to know, would you give this a shot? I personally would not. I'm not that much of a pickle person. But what disappoints me most out of this entire story, besides just the combining of the flavor, the Today Show made a tweet about this that said Heinz is launching pickle ketchup. That's what's next in the caption that, that disappointed me more than anything else. It's an absolute delight. Is this what Twitter has come to nowadays? Yeah, boy, Connor Smith and the Creek Well Rise on KCM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Hey, you know, you can give thanks this holiday season by adopting a local family that can't afford a special meal. So Berkshire Brothers and Huntsville partnering up with Safe House and Head Start to provide families a turkey, dressing, side dishes, and rolls. To adopt a family, contribute $99.99 by visiting Berkshire Brothers Deli by Friday, November 17th. Now, if you want to find out more about, about this, just log on to our website. Head on over to our community calendar at ksam1017.com. Ashley McBride, light on in the kitchen on KSAM. Good afternoon, Big Glenn, with your forecast is coming up. So let me ask you, if you're uh, at a restaurant and a friend, a friend snags a fry off your plate, is that cool? Or are you like, really? No. Uh, so here we go. A recent poll found that half of us would be annoyed if a friend snagged something off our plate without at least asking first. And fries, that's the number one food we don't want to share. You can't touch it. Yeah, the top foods that we don't want to share not only are fries, but pizza, ice cream, and chocolate. About one in 10 people say they won't share under any circumstances. 29% say they would rather buy someone their own helping than share with them. And 15% say it's caused an argument before. Really? Oh, my gosh. Uh, do you share? Do you not share? I tell you what, if you're married, you're sharing, whether you want to or not. <laughs> right? Kelsey Ballerini on 101.7 KSM as we continue on this rodeo radio Saturday. Getting ready for the same Houston Intercollegiate Rodeo out there with the KSM Rodeo Radio Show and Faust Distributing with Miller Light. Should be a fun time again starting at 4 o'clock. Head out there. Join Brian and the rest of the KSAM Rodeo Radio Show. Get yourself a bull shirt as well, our brand new bull shirt. So be sure to head out there, say hey, get some pictures, get a shirt, why not, and enjoy the Sam Houston Intercollegiate Rodeo. All right, time for your five random facts of the weekend. Let's start at number five. If you make it to the top of Mount Everest, you'll be standing in both Nepal and China. The border between them goes right through the peak. Now I'm kind of curious. <laughs> if somebody could fly me up there, that'd be perfect. Because there's no way in the world I'm hiking that. <laughs> no way in the world. Number four. Out of the 20,500 or so Major League Baseball players that have played the sport at the pros since 1876, only 12, only a dozen, have been from the state of Alaska. The most famous, Kurt Schilling, who was born in Anchorage. Third fact of the day, it cra Crayola his crayons called Carnation Pink, Piggy Pink, Pink Sherbert, Pink, Pink Flamingo, and Tickle Me Pink. But not one that's just called Pink. <laughs> I don't get it. Especially the Tickle Me Pink thing. I think that was because of the Tickle Me Elmo thing from 10, 12 years ago. I don't know, but either way, I don't get it. <laughs> they just have a pink, right? Our second <laughs> second to last fact of the day, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't do his own German dubbing for the Terminator movie because his accent, his accent is actually pretty rural and the studio felt that it didn't match the character that he had in the Terminator. Sure. Never knew that, but okay. Either way, I'm still going to use it because why not? <laughs> and finally, next year, the term action figure will turn 60 years old. Action figure was first coined by Hasbro back in 1964 to market their G.I. Joe figure to boys who refused to play with quote-unquote dolls. Interesting. 60 years old. Wow.